Oh, look at this. This is cheddar cheese and pale ale bread. Now, in 1977, I went, to, it was my first time to the UK with my mother and my sister, and we went to visit my great aunt and great uncle, my mom's uh, aunt and uncle, who lived out in a place called Lewis, uh, right by the water, down near the ocean. Fantastic spot. And great uncle took us out for lunch. We went to a pub. It was my first time ever at a British pub. And we're sitting out under this, I remember this big tree. I think it was an oak tree, but I'm not too sure anymore. Under this big tree outside the pub. And we ate what's called a plowman's lunch. The plowman's lunch is a piece of bread with uh, cheese and stuff. And then, of course, we had some nice beer to go with it. A nice pale ale or something like that. I can't remember exactly what I had anymore. But... Remembering that, I came up a long time ago with this recipe, which is a mixture of this pale ale in here. There is cheddar cheese. There's pockets of cheddar cheese melted in there. It smells absolutely fantastic. It's super easy to make because it's, it's a soda bread. It's not a bread that you need to knead and let rise and all that. You mix it all up real quick, as you're going to see in a minute here. In a bowl, toss it in a loaf pan, throw it in the oven. That's it. It's really super easy to make. And it got a nice chewiness to it, full of pockets of cheese. Let's go in the kitchen and make this right now. And you're going to see just how easy it is to make. Right. This is going to be one of the easiest breads you make. There's no kneading required in it. I just mix it up and toss it in a loaf pan and into the oven. What we've got here for the ingredients, I've got one 12 ounce or 355 milliliter bottle of Fire Rock Pale Ale. Actually, any pale ale will do. Uh, a good British pale ale is nice. Actually, this is kind of a British bread, but I love the Fire Rock Pale Ale. Um, and here I've got three and a quarter cups of flour. Here I've got seven ounces or 200 grams of cheddar cheese, preferably an aged cheddar cheese. It crumbles easier. I don't want to crumble it into pieces like about that big, you know. Um, just give me little pockets of cheese throughout the bread. Now, if you can't crumble it, if you've got a really uh, a very young cheese and it's hard to crumble, you can cut it up into small cubes. That's fine, too. I would kind of make it a little uneven cubes just to give more character to the bread. Then across the front here, we've got one egg beaten well because that, that's going to be a glaze. I've got here is a quarter cup of honey. Now, it's, right, it's a little cold right now, so if your honey is a little stiff, warm it up a little bit first so it's a little bit runny. This is nice and runny now. I've got two teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon each of pepper and baking soda. So it's baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda. This is a little bit like an Irish soda bread in a way. So first thing I want to do is I want to take all the dry ingredients and toss them into large bowls. So we're going to put the, uh, the flour in there, the cheese, and I'm like, what, the cheese goes in there too? Yes, it does. The uh, baking soda, the salt, and the pepper and then all I'm going to do mix that around to combine it so we just want to get everything spread throughout there the salt the pepper the baking soda and that's looking pretty good now I'm going to crack that bottle of beer and this is where you have to control yourself I do love I, this fire rock pale ale and but nope it's got to go in here. So, make a little well in the center, pour it in. And, let's toss that honey in there at the same time. Just gonna get all that honey out of there. Okay. Yeah, you got this fizzing and bubbling going on here. Mmm. Honey is great. That's actually uh, clover honey from British Columbia. I <laughs> had it here in the store. I was like, wow, I haven't had that for a long time. In that little plastic bottle, little squeeze bottle. I used to have that when I lived in BC. All right, so now I'm just making this gloopy mess together. Just mix it until it all comes together. I'm going to get all the flour incorporated into the liquids. Smelling really beery in here, yeasty. All 
Uh, that's basically come together. So what I want to do now is just grab it all and toss it into my loaf pan. Oh, and the oven is ready. That oven has been heating up at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. This is going to go in there for 45 minutes until it's nice and brown and golden brown and it passes the uh, toothpick or skewer test. So what I've done here with the loaf pan is I've buttered it and then papered it so that this will come out quite easy afterwards. All I do now is just bring it together a bit like that and plop it in there. A little bit left here. Okay. Now I just want to kind of squish it down in there so it gets out into the corners. Oh, it really is smelling like a brewery in here. Now, I'm going to take a brush. <laughs> this is actually not a pastry brush. This is a Japanese carpenter's brush or painter's brush. I like it. It actually got this comes in at a nice angle. Perfect. So I'm just going to brush the egg across there. All right, that's looking pretty good. So looks like we hit every spot with some egg. Good. All right, that's going to go in the oven now for 45 minutes. So I'll see you back here when this beauty comes out of the oven. All right, that's just come out of the oven. Look at that. That is just beautiful. A little browning. You can see all that cheese there. Wow, that's going to be good. So I'm going to take a skewer and just go down into the bread. Well, it's coming out nice and dry. Yeah, you might hit some cheese along the way, but uh, there are no wet crumbs and wet dough coming out on there. So that's good. That is ready. Let's see if we can get that out of there. It's going to be a little hot still. Uh, might be, ow, hoo -hoo, that's hot. Might be a little early still. Let's see. Just for the. Yeah. No, sorry. Not going to happen right now. <laughs> All right. What I want to do is I'm going to let that cool in there for a little while. And then it's going to go out onto this rack and cool some more. Now, if you like this recipe, and look at that. That is absolutely delicious. It's uh, golden on the outside. There's pockets of cheddar cheese in there. Smells like pale ale, like smells yeasty and brewerish. And let's see, still a little bit warm, but look at that. Now, if you like this recipe, stick around. There's a lot more like this here on Kuma's Kitchen on the YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you subscribe because every Monday there's a new original recipe coming out. And if you're not yet a patron of Kuma's Kitchen, consider becoming one at the patreon.com. Because for as little as $3 a month, you can be uh, supporting the creation of original recipes from Kevin Riley and Kuma's Kitchen. And you also get all kinds of cool stuff in the Patreon feed itself that nobody else gets. So, go check that out and make this delicious bread and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen.